We now return to the Laredo one. Princess too, and her voyage into the history books began in Laredo, Texas. The crew of the Ice Princess 2 consists of a pilot, co-pilot, flight engineer, and Manuel Chavez, chief maintenance officer who was born and raised in Laredo. He's a graduate of St. Joseph's Academy and is excited in being part of a support team for the Norman Vaughn expedition in the Antarctic. Well, this will be the second time I go down to, to Antarctica, but uh, this year we're taking uh, Colonel uh, Norman Vaughn who was uh, one of the original members of the 1928-1930 uh, Admiral Byrd expedition, which was the first expedition to uh, use dogs in the Antarctic. And uh, Mr. Vaughn is now 87 years old. He wants to celebrate his next birthday on top of Mount Vaughn in the Antarctic, and he wants to do it with uh, dogs again. The point being for uh, America to be the first country and the last country to ever use dogs in the Antarctic because they are now outlawed uh, from the Antarctic. Well, one of the things that's unusual is, is that these dogs are gonna be carrying, uh, they're gonna, the sleds will have um, between 700 and 1,000 pounds in them. Um, they're going with a skier in front, looking for crevasses and everything, and so they had to learn to move a little slower than what you would normally expect out of a dog team, like you see in the dog races or something like that on the Iditarod. These dogs are trained to do about four or five miles an hour, pulling a tremendous amount of weight. Uh, the main role is the maintenance of uh, the aircraft, uh, which is uh, Ice Princess 2. It's a DC-6. factor is, uh, is minimal. Uh, the navigation problems are the same no matter what, what we're doing. The, uh, there are no facilities, there's no en route navigation aids. Uh, the landing area is just a, a barren piece of glacier ice 2,700 feet thick and uh, it just requires a, a, a bit of a concentration but the uh, danger factor is, is quite, quite low. I think this is really it's pretty amazing that something like this would happen here in Laredo. You normally don't connect uh, Laredo with uh, Siberian sled dogs, and uh, you've seen the cargo on the aircraft, uh, uh, snowmobiles and uh, uh, tents and all this kind of stuff. It, it, it's pretty, it's kind of outrageous, but it's, it's, really, it's really great. Uh, the crew that have joined us are from Laredo, or several of them are. And when we came back from last year's Antarctic operation, we did 12, 12 trips to the interior last year. When we came back, uh, we decided to try and keep the aircraft and crew all intact and, and operating for the summer, so we opened a base here. And we're also, like everyone else, uh, sort of taking a gamble on the NAFTA process developing and more trade developing through Laredo, and air transportation will play a key part of that. 
There is another adopted uh, Laredo, and he's uh, a guy from uh, from Philadelphia, Robert Hess. He'll be the uh, the flight engineer for the aircraft, uh, which means he sits between the two pilots here, and he takes care of all the flight and all the uh, engine controls. And uh, he's originally from Philadelphia, but uh, he was down here when this was a uh, an Air Force base. He married a local girl, and uh, now he's retired, and he's back in Laredo. I'd always been interested in airplanes and uh, uh, machinery. I have a degree in mechanical engineering, so this was pretty much something I wanted to do. Plus, uh, in all the, uh, the literature about aviation, there was always something talking about how there were not enough aircraft maintenance engineers. So it seemed like a good idea, and I've never regretted it. Manny did promise to write us a line and let us know how he and the crew of the Ice Princess 2 are doing. As soon as we hear anything, we'll let you know.